Hello everybody, Scout Crafty here. Uh, when ordering this antique puppet uh, on eBay, they sent it into a box. You could see the size of the box. The head was too small. I guess they figured they could squeeze it in because the box expands. But unfortunately, when they did that, as you could see what happened was the the head cracked. It was uh, This head is from the 60s. It's a uh, punching puppet. I'll show you how that works in a minute. Here's some of the remnants that I found, the skull fragments, so to speak. And, uh, well, we're going to try and repair it a little bit. You can see the crack runs all the way through. So we're going to see what we can do as far as uh, saving this, okay? Uh, step one in the repair will be to uh, clean out all the, this, a lot of times it was a thing called release agent. Now you can see that this was put together. You can see the seam that runs from uh, the, the back of his head to the front of his head. But what we're going to do is we're going to have to get that crack in here all cleaned out. We're going to use acetone and we're going to wipe it in here and wipe all the inside surfaces of here to get any of that release agent and kind of roughen it up a little bit so that it'll accept some glue. Okay, upon cleaning it, we could see that uh, there were some other multiple cracks in here. This thing is much more brittle than we thought. Uh, this plastic has a, you know, I guess a lifespan and, and it, if I was to bend this, it would snap one, two, three. So we're going to have to have some way to reinforce this once we get it. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get this piece together with that skull cap more or less in one piece and then we're going to figure out a way to reinforce it and make a shelf in here. Okay, using a high quality CA glue and some kicker, I was able to, uh, to piece his head back together where it's one piece now. Uh, you can't really see, you, know, you see a couple of the glue seams, but what we're going to do is I'm going to try and fill the inside of his head with an epoxy compound and so that it'll coat the entire head and make it stronger because it's way too brittle. So we'll see what happens then. Okay, you can see there's a small activation rod that runs through this plastic tube that holds the head on. Now I can't get any glue on that rod or it'll, it'll stop the action. I'll show you the action later. But what I want to do now is coat the inside of the head with a type of glue. Now anybody that's ever used this type bond glue knows that it kind of makes a skin, you know, a flexible, but a skin anytime you don't use it for a while. So I took some of that type bond glue. I thinned it out a little bit uh, with water, warm water, and I put it into an old squeeze container. Now my idea is to put it through a straw into the uh, bottom of this tube to get past that activation rod that I don't bind it up into the head and then uh, move the head around a little bit and swirl it around and, and uh, keep it rotating so that that glue forms a skin on the inside of the head and strengthens it. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, so far so good. I used my little apparatus here, the glue bottle with a, uh, a straw taped onto it, which got it uh, down to the bottom of the head uh, by passing it through this top hole. And what I did was I poured that glue in there and it was thinned out much like this. There's a sample of it. And then what I did is I always keep a, a jar of sawdust on hand, a fine sawdust, just for projects like this. And uh, then I took a couple tablespoons of sawdust and poured it down the hole so that it would, um, so that it would adhere to the glue after I spun the head around. Now the whole head was covered with glue on the inside. Then it was covered with sawdust, which would more or less hold it in place. And now I'm just going to let this dry. It looks like a, uh, like almost like a paper mache inside this head. So hopefully that'll secure it, give it some strength. I'm going to hang this above the furnace overnight, let it dry up, and then uh, tomorrow we'll see how uh, how everything worked out. Okay, here on top of my furnace, my favorite drying section. I'll leave him uh, rotating every every so often. I'll give him a little turn, and let him uh, let him dry up so that the Anything that settles will settle towards the bottom where the cracks were, and we'll see what happens. Well, it's been about 24 hours. The uh, the glue mixture with the sawdust is dry. This is a sample of what it'd be like, and it is solid. So the the inside of his head is all coated with that coating, and uh, it should make it much stronger than uh, than original. But uh, you could see where some of the glue seeped out. Uh, you could see that uh, we're going to just give this a little paint job. Uh, I got some acrylic paint we're going to paint over trying to decide if I want it glossy or make it flat. It would look uh, kind of better if it was flat. And um, I got some good news from the eBay seller. They refunded my entire price. I wasn't looking for a full refund, but they did. And a really good seller. Left them great feedback. Sent them a nice message. So, uh, so let's get this fixed and painted, and we'll see what we got. Well, we're finished with the project now, and the restoration is done. This is the, uh, the paint as it dried, and uh, it's always a test section. 
I use some Blick uh, acrylic. I love their uh, their paint. It's really good. And also, uh, I put in some gloss medium so that uh, it gets a little bit of a sheen to it. And here's the repair. As you can see, it's pretty much uh, indistinguishable as far as uh, where the cracks were. It, uh, considering what it was, and now it's fully repaired and still usable. And by the way, what this puppet does is, it, as you can see, it's a what they call a, a boxing puppet where it would, uh, by pulling the two levers, it would throw out, like much like Rock'em Sock'em robots from the 60s. But uh, works well, nice little puppet. Uh, they think they called it the Boxing Joe Lewis or something from the 60s, and uh, repair is done. Okay, I hope, uh, hope this helped in case anybody else wants to take on a repair like this. And take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.